What does it feel like to be the first Welshman in the UFC and to get a win like that? Yeah, it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, like I said, um, you know, I, 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 it's been an amazing experience. All of this, has, my full career has been an amazing experience. And uh, like I said, it's a privilege to represent Wales, you know. But like I said to the guys in past interviews, me and Jack are out here and we're both separate teams in, the, in, in, uh, in Wales. We're a team out here, we're Team Wales out here, and um, it's been amazing to represent the country. And I'm very thankful to the UFC to give me this opportunity, if I'm honest. Like you said, you've got Jack as well on the card. Do you think that Wales is somewhere, an area that the UFC maybe should go to, to to hold an event, maybe in the future? Oh, definitely. I don't see it being now, maybe in a, in a few years' time. I'd like to think maybe, possibly, the, starting off maybe in the motor point. But, you know, why not these these big UFC events in the Millennium Stadium? Why not them places, you know? We can. We just need the right guy. You know, with me and Jack opening the gates for Welsh MMA, we're we'll saying we can't have another McGregor-esque sort of fighter out there from Wales. You know, we're tough guys, we're tough guys. Do you think you could be that guy? Possibly, you know, I like to think so. You know, I'm, what am I now? What am I now? 13 and 0, 13 and 0, you know? I think I'm 13 and 0, unless your guys are playing <laughs> tricks with me. No, but like I said, it's an amazing experience. Maybe possibly, you know. Uh, I like to think I got a few fans after that one. If I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to regret doing everything I did tonight, now this next morning, anyway, when I wake up. But yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for the support from everybody, you know what I mean? And out has been amazing. It's a, it's, a, it's a time I'm never going to forget. And like, I want to thank everybody from Wales, you know, like the worst support I get is unreal. You know, walking the street and people want to shake my hand, and it's, 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 it's blessing, it's absolutely blessing. Set a UFC, WEC record um, for the most takedowns in one round with 11. Just your, just your thoughts on that? I don't I what? You set a UFC, WEC record. For 11 takedowns um, in a single fight. I, I didn't even re realize I did 11 takedowns. I thought I only did three. Um, wow. Okay. That's, that's that's outstanding. That is. That's quite. That's quite good. Um, I didn't really think about that. You know. I, I remember landing 25 takedowns in a in one fight in Swansea before. So yeah, the mass. I mean, I'm gonna put a plaque up my wall for that. I think. You know, there's some good guys in the <laughs> WC and UFC. But um, no, it's a privilege. Like you know, one of my heroes. As I was walking up, Brad Pickett was in the change room next to me, and he's warming a Poraguchi and. You know, he gave me a thumbs up to say good luck out there, and it's just like, I know I, I can die a happy man now. You know, I know I got a long UFC career ahead of me, but this was, this was my dream. I, 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 I wanted one fight to have one fight. That doesn't mean I'm going to retire. I'm 24 years old, you know, and um, it's a dream come true. I'm very thankful for the UFC. I'm very thankful for everybody who supports me here. It's blessing. It, it truly is, and the support that I get from everybody, not you know, just the Welsh fans, but everyone in the world, it's absolutely blessing. So I'm an emotional person anyway. But like I said, I got back in the changing rooms and I just cried. That's all I did. You know, I don't even remember the last like 20 minutes. I can't remember. The, in the first round, there was a lot of wrestling. Obviously, the 11 takedowns. And then the second round, you came out, you caught him with an uppercut, a big right hand, and a flying knee. Was the game plan to mix it up, or was it try wrestling to start and see how it went? If I'm completely honest, I think it was off the cuff, really. You know, like the first round, like I wrestled, but to wrestle like after three rounds, you need a big gas tank. You know, not that I was blowing at all doing them runs, but like. In the in the in the in the second, maybe third round, you know, I wanted to do more stand up. But yes, he caught me with shots, but I thought I caught him with a lot of shots as well. So yeah, you know, there was no really game plan. I just wanted to go up there and fight, and um, it just turned out that the first round was wrestling, the second and third round were more stand up based. But like, you know, I, I, the guys know me in the gym. I'm a wrestler. And people don't see that stand up side of me because I don't like getting punched in the face. To be honest. You said in the octagon that you'd like an easier fight next. Yeah. Why did you say that? Oh, because uh, you know they give me an undefeated opponent from South Korea. You know, yeah. I'm not sure where he trains, but he trains in a good gym to, to fight like that. You know, and um, nah, I was, I was only joking. You know, Sean Chen was one of the best matchmakers in the world for that reason. I like to think I can't really remember. But I like to think it was a good fight. I think I got clipped once in the first round. I got rocked. I'm not sure if people noticed that or if people saw that, but <clears throat> I definitely felt like I got rocked. And I was a bit like, whoa, here we go. You know, it was a bit of a rodeo. And then second round, I remember catching him with something, and he went wobbly leg. Be nice, uh, nice to first. Someone give me like a little 50g check. That'd be quite <laughs> nice, wouldn't it? Right, could you hear? Um, sorry, could you hear the the Welsh fans? They're all the ones that come over, and could you hear them singing the songs from the Euros? Could you? Did you, did you take that in while you were in the octagon? Oh yeah, it was uh, it was amazing. As everybody knows, I'm a big supporter of the Welsh football. You know, I went up to France to watch it, and uh, yeah, my 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 brother, my family have led the way, and I'm absolutely sorry. So, uh, some more. Oh, sorry, guys. It's emotional time. My, um, my family and everything put up with a lot of crap with me. Just very thankful to them for putting up with me, you know. Um, my brother buys everything for me, you know. I, got, I, I, I never had money. So my brother and my family pay for stuff. So, like I said, I'm very thankful for them. They've been there from the start and I'm just very thankful in general, you know. It's been, um, 
been a rocky road. My family, you know, it's been, my, my parents, my mother, my father, my my brothers and sisters. They've been there for me from the start. That I'm just very thankful. Well, Ray, you've done your country proud yeah. completely, and not only were you the first Welsh fighter, but the first Welsh winner. Is this the best feeling you've ever had in the sport? No, really, I don't feel good now. No, no, I don't feel good now. No, um, <laughs> no. The inside deep down. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud. You know, I guess I'm proud to be a Welshman, and um, you know, I just opened the floodgates. You know, I, in my opinion, I'm still Brett Johns. I'm still from Pontydwy in Swansea. You know, I'm, it's not going to change me, and never will. You know, and um, look, I'm just thankful. You know, people are going to the Welsh support, but. You know, everybody gets behind me, you know, everybody gets behind me. I'm just thankful for where the Welsh, English, Scottish, it doesn't matter to me. I'm very thankful for people who took a chance on me, including the UFC, you know. Like, everybody knows I'm an emotional person. When I got the call for the UFC, you know, I was in tears. And look at me now, I'm still in tears now, you know. I'm a bit bruised, a bit more now, though. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Thank you.